And the Lord said, I will change the understanding and expression of Christianity in the whole earth in one generation. Not this movement or that movement, but God himself through all the thousands of movements and millions of ministries. He said, I am going to do this across the whole earth in one generation. And the, my spirit trembled and the fear of the Lord fell on me. And I give some of the details on the notes that I'm not going to go into. Read about it in the newspaper. That, that, that's pretty cool. But it, the thing that's even more amazing to me is you scooped NASA on a comet. What happened? Well, the Lord took me into an experience and showed me a vision of a comet. I mean, NASA place. hadn't even heard of this comet coming. No, comets are usually cyclic, so you know when they're coming. Uh, but the Lord in this experience showed me a comet going throughout outer space and said that it was going to be a sign in the heavens of what He was doing in our generation here on the earth. And He said in one generation, the whole face and expression of Christianity, but also of the world, was going to change. That we live in a season of reformation. And He said just as Martin Luther in the early 1500s during the time of reformation, they had an understanding that you could be saved by grace through the faith of God and understanding of salvation, this generation was going to have an understanding of the kingdom of God and that people would be able to walk in greater intimacy with the Lord than they ever had before and begin to walk in the greater works of Jesus Christ. Now, as a young... Donc hier soir, on a c'est partagé quand je me suis retrouvé devant Jésus. Donc je vais pas refaire un, un duplicata d'hier soir. Je vais juste rappeler une petite parole. Quand je me suis retrouvé face à lui, il m'a dit je vais changer la compréhension et l'expression du christianisme en une génération. Et là, forcément, bah, ça parle de réforme. Et là, je voudrais qu'on aille plus loin maintenant dans le principe de réforme. Je crois que ce qu'il y a au goût du jour, ce qu'il y a dans l'agenda de Dieu, c'est une réforme. Euh, je parle avec beaucoup de pasteurs et en fait, on s'aperçoit que actuellement, l'Église ne fonctionne pas pour remplir le mandat qui lui a été confié. On devrait voir des guérisons et on voit beaucoup de non-guérisons. On devrait voir des foules se convertir et on devrait faire de la pêche au filet et on fait de la pêche à la ligne. Euh, on est embourbé des fois dans des problèmes financiers, dans des scandales. Des fois maintenant, le mot évangélique, le mot église, c'est comme un blasphème dans le monde. C'est comme un... Il y a de l'eau propre dessus et il y a quelque chose qui a besoin de changer. Et quand je me suis retrouvé devant Jésus, donc c'était dans des conditions dramatiques, il m'a clairement dit qu'il allait changer la compréhension et l'expression du christianisme en une génération. Sometimes I do not believe it, but today I do believe because now, it happens to me. Go now. And you have to do this. Now, here. Oh, oh Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. How many after? Where is it? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> now the pain is gone. Now the pain is gone. Oh, 
Try to do it again. What did you do? It's gone. What do you want to go there? What's this? In Jesus' name, right now, I mean. Check it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you felt that, you felt that it's gone. Amen. <laughs> go right now in the name of Jesus, try again. <laughs> Bones, I command you to mend right now in Jesus' name. You can try that. <laughs> it's similar to Reiki? No. no. Jesus. Oh, yeah? Jesus, not Reiki. No. No, Reiki. no. no energy. God. No, no, it's not okay. energy. No. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about that one just happened? That's pretty cool. <laughs> we are born, put here on earth with a purpose. That is to seek and find God. The problem is that we don't seek him, and because we don't seek him, we don't find him. Have you heard about Jesus? <laughs> yeah. We live 2050 after Jesus Christ. God is real, and, and he called us to be his disciples, he called us to be Jesus' disciples, to go out and show the world that he's real.